Okay, I finally get this video. This is a book, well, a series review over the Black Prism series. And I have all the books. This is so I was able to get all the uh, books. Black Prism. Blind Knife. These are some thick books. Basically, this series is a, about the Black Prism. And it's more like these individuals can absorb light. And then each color light has different properties and abilities. And the world basically revolves around that. What makes this book series interesting is the intrigue. And it has some good uh, quotes about life and power dynamics. The main character is Gavin Gal. And I kind of... There's some, I don't want to give any spoilers, but I want to say the main character is Gavin Gal and then his son. But it's really good. There's some plot twists, some intrigue, good, interesting characters. This is more like a, these are some thick books, epic fantasy. I'm going to put that in there. There's some people, I really don't understand the difference between what's epic, what's epic fantasy and what's the fantasy. I'm thinking that George R. R. Martin and the Game of Thrones is epic fantasy and there's a lot of different stories and then they just come together. This is one of the books. A lot of different stories. Well, not as many as Game of Thrones. It's quite a different, uh, quite a few different stories and they come together. So if you like books about magic, books about intrigue, books with plot twists, books that kind of draw in some religious views and point of views and some religious lore because I have a religious background about being forced to go to church and all this stuff. I'm not religious personally, but I still have that background. So it's like a good take of it. So I guess if you are religious, you might like it even more. So I don't want to give any spoilers for this series. Plus, it's been a while since I read it, so my memory's not that good. I just know the high points. So that's why I say, if you get a chance, check out this book. I'll have a link in the description. There are one, two, three, four, five books in the series. The only problem that I have is, and I have a problem with another book series that I will do a review on, that he finished the series too early. And it's kind of like a balance. You have to know when to finish the series without it going like super long and people get burnt out like One Piece. But that's an anime, this is a different book. And then just finishing it too short, like on the last book. I think he could have gotten a, another book out of it. He just ended it, the main villain, he just ended it too soon. But still a good book. Still a good book. I'm just upset on, on that part. So get a chance to check it out. Uh, let me know if you like it. Uh, let me know what you think about this review. Let me know if you know of any good books along the lines of this one. Uh, I've read this Black Prism series and I've read the Night Angel trilogy. Both of them are good series if you know any books along those because I actually want to read good books with some realistic more young adult adult books because these children ran the fantasy about having fun i got tired of all that there's some light novels i read that i just got tired of reading because no it's just them doing random stuff random shenanigans and stuff i i don't have time for that i need some books that i can draw on with some good quotes i'll have some examples of some quotes from these different books in the description there are some really good quotes. I'm going to throw one in that they're, they're kind of big, but the description box is pretty long. So one of them is about Orholum, which is basically God, but in the Black Prism universe. So it has some good relations with that. So I'm going to put that in the quotes, put that in the description, make connections. So anyway, check out the book series. It's good. Just check out the red first book. I know a lot of people Nowadays on social media platforms, they're, uh, what is it called? Their timing, their attention span is not good enough to read. But this is a good series, so I don't remember getting bogged down on it. Like, I was able to read it, 
and it wasn't slow at any point so the pacing is good so you should be able to keep the pace it's not as good as um what's that series what's that? i just did a series on on it and they're coming out the red rising series not as good as that that one's amazing pacing is just great that's one just you read you just read in a day you don't want to take breaks on these books but i just like to read so i don't know you let me know in the comments that's all i think maybe it's not all yet